I remind you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as a foundation of a happy home. Will and Alicia, I encourage you both to seek the help of God in this very sacred moment and to look to Him steadfastly for His love and grace and which will make your marriage rich in comfort and fruitful in service. take Alicia to be your wife, to cherish her and to live with her according to God's holy ordinance. Will you pledge your loyalty to her and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep her in health and sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and to keep yourself unto her only as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will where everybody can hear you. I will. I, I heard that. <laughs> will you take will to be your husband to cherish him and to obey him of course will you pledge to your loyalty to him and promise to love honor comfort and keep him in health and sickness in prosperity and adversity and to keep yourself unto him only as long as you both shall live if so answer I will where everybody can hear you I will To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. From this day forth. For better or for worse. For better or worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In health and in sickness. In health and in sickness. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do we part. Till death do we part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I pledge thee my love. I pledge thee my love. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I declare that Will and Alicia are now husband and wife according to the law of this state in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Will, you may kiss your bride. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. William Joseph Brown. Will you rise and accept this couple as they go?
life, you'll have struggles that come your way and moments that will take your breath away and knock you to your knees. But it's in these moments where your love for one each other will shine through. In these moments, overcoming together throughout your marriage, change will come, but do it together and grow together. True love is forgiveness. When Jesus died on the cross, it was forgiveness. He forgave us. And if you want a happy marriage, be quick to forgive. True love is about forgiveness. And Alicia, I love you just like a daughter, and I can tell you the things you can thank me for. One is wheel putting gas in your car, always. You can thank his mother for him being an organized person and a tightwad with his money. That's not me. I spend all mine. I love y'all, and I'm so proud of you uh, this moment, and uh, I hope you go far. As Katie said, please trust the Lord and pray together and stay together. And again, I love you all, and thank you all for coming. God bless you. The best part of it is that we're so blessed, even though this pandemic has been where it is and I thank everybody too for coming out because it's a big deal but uh, we're just so blessed if we'll just look and count our blessings every day there's so many more blessings than they are negative things and that's what we have to do we have to be positive